broadcast live. Yo, we out here with the homie Young Swiss in the place to be. Oh, what up? Um, firstly, man, title of the EP, what does it mean? And um, and before we get into the EP. Word, bottom baby, man, it's just, I mean, uh, I'm one of the cats that never had it easy coming up, you know what I'm saying? Like, where I'm from and how I was growing up, you know, it was tough times and shit, so bottom baby just just means someone that a kid that started from the bottom got it out the mud mm -hmm. word all right so yo you got a very great narration of the story so let's start from the top right yeah. um um ways home um true is it facts you haven't spoken to your you said your mom's in 10 years word. um like yeah, that's the question. Well, Wait, so I was I was born in Cameroon, right? right, right. Oh, then, Cameroon. That's yeah. like when you turn Cresta. And you know what I'm saying? Behind the moon. That's far. That's yeah. far as hell. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah, I was I was born in Cameroon and I moved to to Asia with my dad. Like, um, I think I was 11 at the time. Mm -hmm. So and yeah, from from there from there I never I never ever saw my mom again because it's been I mean, bro, it's a long trip. And when I left my dad my dad's house, no one was able to make it happen for me so mm. hence i'm out here grinding trying to make it happen for myself you know so saying? so your mother was in cameroon yes basically. Still so is. your dad moved up here alone. yeah oh okay okay so if you hadn't seen your mother in 10 years that means you are 22 two this year yes. that's crazy man that's crazy um have you spoken to her? yeah we speak all the time man. yeah we speak all the time yeah. but that that's like that's that's not enough bro yeah yeah of course of course of course that's crazy that's crazy so um and then you move up here you want to get this rap thing going or this music thing going right. at what age do you leave the house and you might and you're like yo or at the age do they say leave the house well when i started doing music my dad was never with that like he had his own plans for me, he had his own dreams for me. I, I wanted you to, to be say, a lawyer. I wanted me to be a soccer player, bro. <laughs> Imagine. Yeah, man. Like I mean, I got the skills and all, but like, nah, please. Okay. So I was like, <laughs> <laughs> just give it one. Okay, yeah. carry on. No, for real though. And I was like, nah, I really want to do this music thing. And he was just like, no, it's a no go zone. If you're gonna be in my house, then no music. So I had to. I think your father literally was gonna cop out because I feel like. If he wanted you to be a lawyer, yeah. a doctor, no, or something else, he was still gonna kick you out. <laughs> yeah, I'm just yeah, word. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like, no, be just soccer. You know what I mean? No, I'm sorry. Yo, but so I'm assuming though that is things cool with your dad though, yeah. even though um, y'all couldn't meet eye to eye. You know, are you cool mm. with him? I mean, we're cool, man. We're cool. He he hits me up from time to time, tell me how proud he is and stuff. But like, Whatever though, man. Like, I ain't even tripping. Like, I'm over right now. It's just me focusing on the music and trying to make things happen with my mom and shit. Yeah. yeah. I think you gotta just, next time your father sings, he calls you up. The album will be on iTunes, so send him the iTunes. Straight up. <laughs> <laughs> say, What's up? Say, say, yo, nigga, speak to the iTunes. No <laughs> What's up? All right, cool. Um, so basically, then that happens. Then, then from then on, when you leave your, your, fa your, your, your father's place, you moving from couch to couch, right? Um, yeah. As the narration says, yeah. you know, um, how many houses were you being, have you, were you kicked out for sm smoking weed? You Yo, know? bro. Because I soccer know. players don't smoke weed, actually. <laughs> I get with your father. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro, like, I, I even lost count. I even yeah. lost count. That's how many cribs I've been in, bro. Like, I used to, I, there's some people I stayed with for a day, like, in the morning there to go to work and I had to bounce and farm away like I, I stood in the street till they came back from work and went back in the crib and chilled and next day I had to go somewhere else I even lost count bro damn I was real yeah damn around Jova yep four ways four ways yeah at least you were like homeless in a luxury right. place you know <laughs> so thing to be homeless like in a I mean in a third world country <laughs> before is a forced, forced I mean I, I, I think being homeless is being homeless man like, so so the time that you spend on your own on your own when you when everyone is gone what's going on in your head though at that time because I've always wondered you know um, mm -hmm. I, I once housed a guy that was homeless you know a rap dude called my man you mm -hmm. know back in the day before your time right. you know 
<laughs> Maybe this is wrong, but it was like at least a few years ago. Uh -huh. I once told him, like, my man was also homeless, as he says. Um, I just always wondered what it is when between that space when you're sitting on your own and uh -huh. everybody's gone and the world is there and you are here on your own. What are you thinking? I'm, bro, I like started blaming myself, you know. I started thinking, okay, maybe my maybe my dad was right. Maybe I'm the flop here, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Or it was just me trying to decide what to do. I, at a point, I felt like my, my life was a flop. Like, I felt like I, I was not going to go anywhere in life. Like, mm. But this music thing always kept me going, you know mm. what I'm saying? Mm. So whenever I was alone, I was just writing, bro, writing lyrics and just, you know, just putting my words on paper. I then So... That happens, then, then I'm sure. Then, like in your homelessness, you meet a girl. You meet a girl that has a yeah, job, man, right? Hey, um, and you've got a very interesting line where you go, um, "I might not get it completely right, but you go, um, um, it was like finding tears in in in, in, an, ocean. in an ocean, because yeah. um, I was hustling and you were working. He was working. The guy she cheated on me with. Oh. Yeah. oh. Was she working? Nah, she wasn't. I guess that was her work, man. <laughs> she was hustling. Uh, yeah. And you almost like, okay, cool, I get it, I get it. So both y'all weren't working. Yeah, work. Mm. And the guy that she was, she yeah, was. Yeah, he was balling, man. <laughs> yeah. That was nice. Yeah. Alright, alright. Alright. So, so, okay. You know, I'm having a conversation because, uh -huh. like, you know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to encrypt the album. We ain't even go word. play the album. We just go <laughs> like a little snippets because, you know, I listen to the album. Uh -huh. So okay, so so um, so okay, like um, so you find like that she's basically like um cheating with the with with the working homeboy. Uh -huh. Um, at that time, where are you? Where do you guys stay? You know what I mean? Yeah, she had her own spot that I'm sure the dude was paying for. Oh, yeah. so maybe you were the side nigga. Bro, <laughs> I thought she was... And she had to prioritize somewhere. Exactly, you know what I'm saying? But then it just tells me that she, she, she really liked me on the rail. Like, she, mm. she really liked to do it on the rail. But, like, I didn't... It came to me as a surprise, man. Like, I really thought that was shoddy, bro. Like, I thought she was going to hold me down. So, so the nigga comes up. But, hey. Once again, in your head, you with homegirl and... You know she don't. She doesn't have a job. How long were you guys together? Um, I think it went on for like two years. All right. Yeah. So you with home girl for two years. You know she's got a job. She's got a place. How do you think that she has this place? She. I think she told me it was a family. You know, so her parents used to send her cash and stuff like that. I was like, ah, right, cool. I was cool with that mm -hmm. until I found out what really goes down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She was holding you down. You just found out the truth. Yeah, exactly. The truth made you. Yeah, it's, exactly. it's the truth. She was holding you down. Yeah, but <laughs> true though, true though. I'm not gonna lie. She was. Cause you and were so the side a... nigga, essentially. <laughs> I was. Oh wait, let's just, let's say I was the side nigga. Well, I was broke, so. You were I mean... the side nigga. <laughs> she was housing you, probably feeding you. You know, she was nah, that either. nigga there. I was. I was taking care of her too, bro. <laughs> How are you taking care of How are you taking With the D. I got juice, bro. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> like, for real, man. For real, though. All right, all right, cool, all right, cool. Well, anyway, shout out to her, wherever she's at, you know. Um, yeah. He's out here with the EP bottom you know thing. She bumping it, bro. All right, so y'all still in touch? Yeah. She texts me, but it's whatever, bro. I get a lot of messages. You get a lot of it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you just have to fire through these no, messages. You know, you like you get more messages than like a like a to the timeline. You know, you know some. Oh, I read this. Cool story. I, I cool know. Story. So basically, then um, obviously she had to make the money decision in the end. Yeah. Um, do you sometimes do you look at it and go, yeah, you know, I mean, it made sense somehow. That she had to make a money decision. Well, are you wait? Are we talking about the girl here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gonna cut, wrap up with that. Oh, cool. Well, 
I yeah, mean, most, I'm, not, I'm not asking about him. I'm asking about you, your thoughts. Now, in retrospect, when you look back, do you feel like you know maybe it was the right decision? Yes, I've, I mean, br- I mean, bro, like I couldn't, I couldn't do what the dude was doing for mm-hmm. her. So mm-hmm. it makes sense now. Mm-hmm. At the time, it didn't make sense because I was just this, yeah, you know, heartbroken and didn't make sense to me. But like when I think of it now, I feel like maybe I shouldn't have taken it so hard like that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. at the end of the day, she could have been with the dude, mm-hmm. but she, she chose to be with me. Mm-hmm and make her money, you know, mm-hmm. through the guy, but like, it's what it is now, man. Well, I hope that guy's still taking care of her, I hope she's got a job, yeah. I hope she's aight, wherever she is, because young sis is doing yeah, aight. Okay. Uh, <laughs> then you're mad at her, right, then you or call up the homies, you're like, listen, B, we gonna turn up, yeah. I don't give a fuck, I'm fucking anything that walks, even <laughs> if it's a man, it is what it is, right? So you start, you, you literally like, now go Pause, out, you guys. turn up, you know what I mean? Word. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> you go out, you know, and um, and and like it, it, it's that life now, right? So mm-hmm. now you live in that life of just like I don't give a fuck. Mm-hmm. When you kind of start, does does that like also? Do you feel that that also brings you closer to? Yo, I really gotta get my shit together. Yeah, exactly, definitely. Because now I feel like I feel like a failure. Like you know, everyone's doing something. The dude, is, dude's got a whip, he's got a house, and I mean, I just got cheated on because I'm broke. I need to do something, bro. Like, mom is like miles away. Pops is tripping. I need to do something. That's when I get up and I start grinding for real. Mm. Mm. Broadcast Live.